back with another video where I show you how I create custom colors on my 3D block prop sets to use in my product photography, which allows me to complement any colors within the product I'm shooting. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I prep and paint the 3D block props from Pixar Pro using the spray gun that's available to purchase over on the website. All links will be in the description if you wanna head over and check those out. But being able to create a complimentary color scene within your product photography is absolutely awesome using the 3D block props from Pixar Pro. But Pixar Pro have thought of everything and now they're selling a spray gun from their website which allows you to customize the color of your 3D block props to complement the colors within your product that you're shooting. You can basically change the color of the block prop sets as and when you need to. So let's take a closer look at the spray gun. It's a mains powered spray gun suitable for use with water-based paint. Comes with an 800 milliliter capacity tank for the paint. And with a 1.8 millimeter nozzle size, that's gonna give you a nice smooth finish on the block props. The tank end of the spray gun assembles nice and easy. A simple twist lock and you're ready to start spraying and it disassembles nice and easy so you can get into all the little bits and keep it nice and primed ready for the next use now you can adjust the jog wheel on the spray gun to get your desired spray pattern but you can also adjust the flow rate from the wheel on the trigger also to get the nice flow rate so just have to play about with them and get the perfect settings dialed in for when you're ready to use now for the purpose of this video i'm going to be using acrylic paint because it's readily available it's easy to mix and it's going to give us a nice smooth finish to our product so if you found you've dropped or damaged any of your 3d blocks simple little bit of filler to them a tiny little sand down and they're ready to prep and paint to look as good as new once again before you start spraying safety first folks wear a mask and make sure you're spraying in a well ventilated area and if you feel anything needs covered up for any kind of little over spray just cover it up you can easily set up a little spray area just using some old background paper but i found the easiest thing to do is grab an old cardboard box and that will become your portable spray booth and then once you're all finished you can just pack everything inside that box and put it away so nice handy little tip there use a cardboard box it's easy to hang stuff from the top of the cardboard you can simply just poke a little bit of wire through the cardboard and attach whatever you're spraying inside it and that's going to allow you to turn whatever you're spraying and get a full coverage on whatever it is that you've sprayed inside the booth once you're finished it's cardboard so you can either use it again to store everything that you're using or you can simply pop it in the recycle bin the next step is mixing the paint now you want a nice smooth consistency to your paint Personally, I would recommend adding water until you get a nice mixture that resembles the consistency of single cream. And that gave me the perfect results every single time. So once you've mixed up the paint, it's time to obviously run it through the viscosity tank and record the length of time it takes for that viscosity tank to empty. Now I recorded around about 60 seconds and that was the perfect consistency for my paint. But the paint that you're using might be completely different so times will differ. But if you get stuck, just refer to the instructions inside of the box. So before you start spraying the blocks, just do a little test spray elsewhere and uh, adjust the jog wheel and the flow rate to suit whatever you think looks the best. And then you're ready to go to start spraying. And once you've got your block positioned in the box, it's a simple case of obviously covering it in your desired color. Now I found spraying from around about eight to 12 inches gave me the best results whilst spraying the 3D block props. Now the whole process I found nice and quick and easy once I was all set up. It took, took no time at all to spray the actual blocks. And obviously I was able to change the color as and when I needed to. Now you can use a paint brush to paint the block props, but paint strokes will be visible within the paint in your photography. So bear that in mind. Personally, I would highly recommend spraying them to get the smoother finish to the blocks. And once all the blocks are painted, because we've used acrylic paint, it's not going to take long for the acrylic paint to dry, leaving you time to start setting up the scene in your product photography. So there you go, a great way to create custom colors to your block props and complementary colors in your product photography. So I hope you've liked this video, folks. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel so you can see more videos which will be coming. I'm off to space some more blocks, so I will catch you guys in the next one. See you then.